Good morning, I'm Lauren Mathis. Thanks for joining us for this news update. Declaring that space is the new war fighting domain, President Donald Trump is vowing that the United States will develop an unrivaled missile defense system to protect against advanced hypersonic and cruise missile threats from potential enemies. The president said in a Pentagon speech yesterday that the U.S. will do what it takes to ensure that the nation is able to detect and destroy any missile launched against us. It is clear that the Pentagon strategy is a far more aggressive space-based missile defense system to defend against threats from North Korea and Iran. Closer to home, state transportation officials are recommending motorists traveling on Interstate 2059 through downtown Birmingham plan for an additional 30 minutes of travel because of detours associated with the latest phase of a project to upgrade the interstate system there. Travel from Tuscaloosa to the Birmingham airport will require motorists to take I-459 around Birmingham and then travel back west to the airport. The Interstate Improvement Project is expected to take about 14 months to complete. The Tusc Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office will send four members of the department's honor guard to Sergeant Watasha Carter's funeral. The Birmingham Police Department officer was shot and killed while trying to make an arrest in downtown Birmingham last Sunday morning. Carter and another officer were shot early Sunday as they questioned two people suspected of trying to break into cars on Fifth Avenue North in the city. Police arrested two people in the case, but no charges have been filed. After the funeral for the officer, the family will hold a private burial service. And finally, the teams are set for Super Bowl 53. Some are calling Sunday's conference championship games a couple of the best playoff games ever. And New Orleans Saints fans are calling one no call the worst officiating ever. The Saints game against the Los Angeles Rams was a great game. Both teams played well. The Saints seemed to be riding the home field advantage wave and was marching down the field for what looked like a close victory. With under two minutes remaining, the Saints were trying to score a touchdown to win the game. Drew Brees threw a pass toward the end zone, but before the ball arrived, a Rams defensive back hammered the receiver for what everyone thought would be a pass interference call that would have locked the game up. No flag was thrown, and the Rams went on to win in overtime. In Sunday's other game, Tom Brady proved once again that giving him the ball with the game on the line is never a good idea. Brady and the New England Patriots scored with seconds remaining, and now they'll meet the Rams in the Super Bowl set for February 7th. That's the news for now. I'm Lauren Mathis. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.